Hi, I'm Adrian Cook, CEO of Carnarvon Energy, and I'm here today to provide an update on the company's activities in the Bedout Basin offshore Western Australia. So within the Bedout Basin, we have our core Dorado oil and gas field. Our first stage of development will involve the production of the oil. Um, and to do that, we will use a wellhead platform producing to an FPSO. Uh, we're making great progress with the development of those activities. Uh, at this point, we are concentrating on the contracts uh, for those facilities and working through securing a number of regulatory approvals um, to produce from this field. Uh, and we recently announced an important milestone in that regard in terms of securing the production license for this field. Still in the Bedou Subbasin um, is a discovery that we announced early this year called Parvo. And this is a particularly important discovery for us because the oil that we discovered is only 46 kilometres from the Dorado field. And that's going to provide us with some important benefits in terms of how we develop and produce that additional oil. And as we've depicted on this chart, uh, Parvo will be able to have a something like a wellhead platform with a pipeline to the Dorado facilities. That will enhance the economic life of Dorado it will also improve the economics for Parvo and it will enable us to contract the time required to develop the Parvo field and produce it through the Dorado facilities. What I'm demonstrating on this slide is where we combine the production from multiple fields to demonstrate that uh, we get to keep a high flow rate throughput in the core facilities which will be Dorado, supplemented with the Parvo North resource that we've discovered and I announced earlier, together with in the third element here, the Parvo South resource, which is a target that we'll be drilling next year, that it sits some um, 500 metres away from Parvo North. And what we show is that the facilities at Dorado, which are capable of producing 100,000 barrels a day, can be maintained for an extended period of time by bringing in these additional fields. And that provides economic benefits for the project in terms of keeping the operating costs per barrel very low. So in finishing with this slide, which represents uh, the four permits across the entire Beda Basin that we share with our partner, Santos, uh, we have some 100 prospects out here to consider for oil and gas uh, across the whole four permits. In terms of our near-term thinking, uh, we will look in 2023 to go back to the Parvo discovery uh, and appraise that resource and also drill that sister structure, the Parvo South resource. Following that and later next year, we are looking at a drilling campaign in the northern part of the basin up here where we see some very large oil targets uh, to be drilled. After which, what we're thinking is that we will target an area here where we acquired new 3D seismic in 2021. We think that there are Dorado-like opportunities in that area. And that geological prospectivity has been further enhanced by the Parvo discovery this year, which really opens up the potential for the migration of oil into this area. And then we will look to move down into the Dorado field, where we will be developing uh, our production wells um, but also looking within the field and nearby for additional resources that can be produced through the Dorado facilities. I'm Adrian Cook, CEO for Carnarvon Energy. Thank you for watching.